I'm Moby. So last spring, late spring, I released an album called All Visible Objects, and I started making these making of videos around some of the songs on All Visible Objects. I made one for My Only Love, uh, I made one for the track Morningside. So I thought I'd make one, maybe this will be the last and final making of from the album, I don't know. Um, I mean, I like making them. I assume someone likes watching them because you are watching this right now. Maybe that's presumptuous of me. <laughs> In any case, this last, possibly last making of video of, or making of, making of, is for the song Too Much Change from All Visible Objects. And like sometimes happens, this song actually started with guitar. And the reason why I say it sometimes happens is not a lot of my songs feature guitar, but a lot of them are actually written on guitar. And when I was really young, like nine years old, um, I had a guitar teacher who taught me classical and music theory. And also we played a lot of jazz fusion. And then I discovered punk rock and tried to unlearn the classical and jazz fusion and music theory he had taught me. But it's still sort of locked away somewhere in my alcohol and drug damaged brain. So this song started with jazz guitar. sitting around playing some simple chords and then but for whatever reason I decided to add some very simple jazz drums and I'm not a great jazz drummer I'm not Buddy Rich but I can do very basic just sort of like brushes on a snare drum style 3 a.m. torch song jazz drums so I added those And then I thought I would add some jazz piano, roughly playing the same chords that the guitar had been playing. Because I don't love jazz guitar, but I really love jazz piano. So even though this was at this point just a very stripped down minimal jazz loop, as it were, I wanted to try and add vocals. And I am not a brave person. I'm not a courageous person. Um, as evidence of me not being brave or courageous, I'm not going to play you my original vocals because they involve me singing those original vocals. And instead, I'm going to play you my friend Apollo Jane, because Apollo Jane has an amazing voice and I do not. So rather than listen to my scratchy middle age voice, here's Apollo Jane singing the vocals. What are we supposed to feel? And what are we supposed to do? And there's too much change There's too much change So now I had these beautiful vocals on top of jazz guitar and jazz piano with my rudimentary jazz drums 
That's the international sign for jazz drums, I guess. What are we supposed to feel? I decided to add a kick drum because right now the song it was living at about 60 beats per minute and my math is not great but I realized that twice of two times 60 is 120 120 beats per minute being the sort of the de facto tempo for a lot of house tracks so I added a kick drum And I liked the way it sort of changed this from a down-tempo jazz song into a jazzy house song. Because in the late 80s, in the early 90s especially, I really loved a lot of the jazzy house that you know people like Tony Humphreys were playing and Frankie Knuckles were playing. I mean, especially going out to see Tony Humphreys in Zanzibar at Zanzibar in Newark was a very seminal formative experience for me. So I added the kick drum and then I added some percussion and some extra drums. And then I added a bass line. I wanted it to be quite a simple little bass line. that I love strings. So I created this very sort of atmospheric, almost washy orchestral string pad and played that on top of everything that was already there. recapping at this point i have jazz guitar jazz drums kick drum percussion and regular drums jazz piano apollo jane's great vocals a bass line uh and these big pads and it became really too busy so i started thinking what can i take out and the first thing to go was the jazz guitar sorry little jazz guitar you knew you weren't going to be here too long so I hope you enjoyed your time here figuratively speaking and but it was still too busy and then I thought what about creating these sections so I have a section that is basically just a very plaintive jazz torch song you know with just the piano Apollo Jane's amazing vocals jazz brushes and that's about it and then have sort of almost like that the house section. What are we supposed to feel? And what are we supposed to do? And there's too much change. There's too jazz guitar had gone and then the final track what I was left with was this 
it's a very long song. The whole I won't play you all of it because it's about 10 or 11 minutes long. Um, and kudos to you if you listen to the whole thing. That makes me happy. I mean, I, although, again, it's presumptuous of me making a 10 or 11 minute song and expecting people to listen to the whole thing. But anyhow, uh, so I have the jazz piano, the jazz drums, Apollo Jane's amazing vocals, kick drum, percussion, drums, bass line, pads and strings. Uh, and I basically, once I rearranged it, I had this odd, long, finished song. And the lyrics, um, I guess, in a way, the, I mean, the lyrics are quite strangely germane or relevant to what we're all going through right now, especially when the pandemic first started. But the song was written in 2019. And so sadly, it's, it's relevant to 2020, but it's also just relevant, I think, I'm being presumptuous again, speaking for our shared experience of the human condition, but I do think almost in a hereditary or existential way, it's relevant to the human condition. You know, the the confusion that many of us have, the fear that we have, even if it's not related to pandemic fear or political fear or authoritarian fear, it can be related to just wondering about our what meaning and significance our lives have in such a vast, unknowable universe. Um, and one thing I can suggest, again, presumptuously, is spending maybe a little bit less time with screens, which is ironic because you're watching this on a screen unless you're standing behind the camera, which you're not because I am not so delusional as to, well, or maybe I am to see people where there aren't people or not see people where there are people. My solipsism doesn't go that far. so. I find it's really important because like screens are so addictive, but what happens on a screen, it's not really real. It's a screen, you know, it's pixels and it's sound coming out of the speaker. I try very hard personally to let my sense of self and my well-being be determined by and informed by friends, family, nature, spirituality, creativity, health, you know, things that are palpable things that are real because you know we all love our screens but they're not real and to let our emotions and our sense of self be hijacked by screens is obviously creating so much stress and so much anxiety for a lot of people so that's my spiel and that's the making of i was going to say my only love but that's a different song um that's the making of too much change and maybe i'll make another one of these i'm not sure but thank you for watching and listening what are we supposed to say? How are we supposed to stay? And there's too much change. There's too.